sing along. Everybody. Hey, I'm Dominique. This is What's in the Pod coming to you live from Crescent City Gumbo Studios in parts unknown, out in the middle of nowhere. Actually, we're out in the middle of somewhere, believe it or not. And uh, we got a great, great lineup for you today. Art Cinco, how you doing? Um, this is What's in the Pod. I'm Dominique. And it's time for your d- list of daily ingredients. Enjoy the scroll while you get your pad and your pen ready so you can make plans for the weekend if you don't have plans already. Ricky Frazier, let's go! Got to hang out with Ricky Frazier last night. Happy belated birthday to that kid. Love that kid. We had a good old time last night. So our very special main ingredient of the day is Merry Christmas Baby by Rockin' Doopsy, local local native uh, guy. Great, great, uh, great entertainer. A lot of fun to be around. Rockin' Doopsy's awesome. If you go catch him live sometime, somewhere, go tell him, say hello, and tell him Crescent City Gumbo sent you. Well, here you go. Here's the scroll for the day, and uh, Merry Christmas Baby from Rockin' Doopsy. You should it treat me nice Well Merry Christmas baby You should it treat me nice Alright Could be a time to wait for Christmas But I feel like I'm in paradise Feeling mighty fine If you know the words, everybody. Rock and do. Santa came down the chimney half past three, y'all. Let all the presents there for my baby and for I. Merry Christmas, baby. You shouldn't keep me nice. Baby. He's a cool cat. You ever get the chance to hang out with him? Do it. You will not be disappointed. What's up, Paul? Santa came down the chimney half past three. Oh. Now all the presents there for my baby and for me. Thank you, thank you. David Smith, yeah, buddy, my buddy. Yeah, what's up, big David? How you doing out there, buddy? Hey, rock and doopsy, everybody. This comes off of uh, Angels, the Holiday Angels working undercover version one of volume two, I'm sorry, volume two. And this was uh, rock and doopsy's contribution, and they raised a bunch of money. Santa came down the chimney.
Yeah, tell her, what's up, buddy? I love me some Rockin' Doopsie, I tell you what. Rockin' Doopsie has been a, Rockin' Doopsie Jr. has been a staple of New Orleans entertainment for a very, very long time. The man's been all over the world. He's been performing for everybody, everywhere. Great, great, great. What's up, Dawn? How you doing, David? I live in the dream. We're all blessed to be watching. Oh, you so sweet. Hey, Dawn, how's it going? I did uh, repost the um, the stuff for uh, for Skulldozer and Killhammer, and thank you for that. And uh, we're going to talk about Skulldozer here in a little bit because... For all of my heavy metal friends out there, Skulldozer is catching on. Skulldozer is going to be something huge, and and it's not going to take that long. What's up, Jeremy Hidalgo? We're going to talk about Jeremy here in a few minutes, too. Um, I'm pretty sure, uh, Jeremy, if you have that costume for me, I am planning on wearing it. If that's the case, I'll be happy to. And maybe we'll discuss that a little bit in a little while. Little while. But we have some really, really cool things coming up. And hey, everybody, it is December 8th, all right? And I would like to sp- send a special thank you. And I really, uh, really, really appreciate everybody reaching out and uh, for my birthday yesterday. It, it, felt, it felt great to, uh, for all the love. Uh, so thanks, everybody, that uh, showed some love. I really appreciate it. Uh, some, of the, some of the birthday wishes were um, heartfelt. And some of them were like, oh, my God, where are you coming from? What's up, Mr. David? Uh, we, But I, it was a great birthday. Had a good time. Got to spend it with uh, two of two of my children, that's for sure. And uh, the rest couldn't make it, but that's okay. It's all good. Uh, but Kate was there, and that's the most important part because she's the youngest, and it means more to her than anybody. So uh, Merry Christmas, Baby by Rockin' Doopsie, great song. But... We're moving forward. We're going to be, it's, it's Christmas time, you know? We're going to get there real soon. We're going to be reaching out, looking for things to do, uh, going out, fi- trying to find gifts. Uh, I would recommend to anybody, get off of Amazon. Don't order stuff from Amazon if you, if you can. Go to the local farmer's markets. Go to the local craft fairs. Go drive around the city and find some art and all that stuff. I like the Mr. part. Mr. David, Oh. That's sweet. Anyway, um, <laughs> go buy local stuff. Come on. There's more heart and soul that goes into that stuff. It's people in their yards, in their, in, their, in their houses, in their kitchens, even in spare bedrooms. Maybe if they have a shed or a workshop, they're making, making stuff. They're putting their heart and soul into it, and it's, it's, it's better to buy local stuff anyway. Help support the dream, the date that lives in infamy. Ah, December 7th, yes, Pearl Harbor Day. That was it. Um, when I was in high school, uh, my my um, was an English two teacher. Uh, he he asked the class, "Does anyone know the significance of December 7th? He didn't say a year, so I raised my hand. He called on me. I said, "It's my birthday," and he's like, "Really? Are you really?" I was like, "Yeah, it's my birthday." He's like, "Okay, other than being Dominique's birthday, does anybody else know the significance of December 7th?" And of course, um, nobody else raised their hand, so I raised my hand again. And of course, it's Pearl Harbor Day. Been knowing that for years. We watch uh, Tora Tora. That was it, Tora 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 every year. Um, I, I didn't see it this year, but uh, you know what? It's all good. Um, uh, hey, it's great being connected to something that happened uh, in all and you know in in our history. Cold Comfort Biscuits and Made with Love Crafts. There you go, right there. You can find a whole bunch of stuff to be uh, to, to, to be given away if you're looking for gifts. And there's a few little events that are going on that we're going to hit. And Dawn, Dawn makes some awesome stuff and dog biscuits. If you need treats for your dogs, there's going to be plenty of um, Cold Comfort Biscuits at, uh, at the, the um, uh, St. Jude uh, fundraiser that we're doing Saturday at the Battlefield Bar. But also this weekend, 33rd annual festival of the bonfires that's tomorrow and uh you can go buy some gumbo for one thing Uh, i actually got my official invite to be a gumbo cook-off judge which i'm looking forward to is like a what did you say uh i can't jeremy said there's like a a hundred and hundred and fourteen or 124 entries this year or something like that it's a lot a lot of entries and uh, it's amazing how much gumbo is in one place at the same time. I am so much looking forward to this. This is going to be fantastic. It's going to be great. And uh, hopefully we'll get to see you guys out there. But they have lots of arts and crafts, lots of things over there that you could go pick up and purchase uh, to be given and uh, to, give, to be given as gifts. And, you know, you, you buy Christmas decorations to give it to somebody so they can use them to decorate next year. Stuff like that. Craft shows everywhere. Festivals everywhere. Uh, don't be scared. 
Get up, get out, go buy some local stuff. Don't put it, get get rid of Amazon. Stop thinking about Amazon. Stop thinking about Walmart and uh, you know stuff like that. Just just go support your friends, your family. And uh, we also have the third annual Go for the Gold St. Jude Children's um, Cancer Fundraiser at Battlefield Bar and Shelmet. That's Saturday, two days, two days. It's going to be big. You can buy some brats there. I'm bringing brats like I normally do for these functions. I was asked to do it again, and I take pride in that. It's it's very uh, wonderful thing. Uh, it feels great to be included in wonderful things like this and crescent city gumbo is always there cajun meats wants to be there as well and uh myself dominique i like to be there to help out as much as i possibly can so i hope i hope it's a wonderful wonderful day it's going to be a great show that's for sure i just hope we raise a whole bunch of money to help these kitties out these little kiddos because we got a lot of stuff that uh kids need help with and since um since it sucks being sick and uh, kids don't deserve to be sick especially for no reason at all uh, it, it's ridiculous. So we need to, we need to get out there and support some of these kids and make sure that they're happy and help their parents deal with the regular day to day, um, day to day things, you know, <laughs> costs and whatnot. So, uh, you know, help them with groceries so they have more money and more time to spend with their kids. Every little bit helps, but, um, also, unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to make this show. I was really excited about this one, but uh, I'm not going to be able to be there because it is December 10th in Homa at the Intracoastal Club. We got She Might Be a Beast, Silver Dose, and the band Melrose are going to be playing. And uh, Discreet was on that bill. I don't know what happened. I'm a little disappointed that they're not there. But at the same time, it's okay because I won't be able to make the show anyway. Uh, but the band Melrose is a great band, too. So you got three awesome bands going to be playing in, at the Intracoastal Club Saturday night. So uh, if you're out in Homa, go check them out. Tell them I said hello. And then uh, we have uh, my buddy Jesse. Jesse Howell is going to be playing at Jay's Tavern Sunday, which I can't make that show either. I'll be at uh, I'll be in Lutcher at the Bonfire Festival Sunday, working with All Pro Productions to try to make the Bonfire Festival sound and look good. And I'm I'm probably going to be working lights mostly, uh, maybe doing some MCing, some hosting, which is the part that I really like to do. And then uh, maybe babysitting uh, babysitting the soundboard. But uh, if you're out in Chalmet, driving around the parish, and you're looking for something to do Sunday, December 11th. Uh, go head over to Jay's Tavern around 4 p.m. and catch Jesse Howell. Absolutely fantastic entertainer. The dude's got a, a bag of tricks, a list of genres, and so much music that he can, uh, he, can, he can entertain you with. Great guy, a lot of fun, always smiling, cool dude. Jesse Howell, my buddy. All right, then we also have on, we're going to jump ahead a little bit because some of these events are worth talking about. Like uh, at the Acadia Bar and Grill, that's in uh, that's in Houston, Texas. Actually, I, I really I wanted to talk about this show. It's a benefit show for Shane Bailey. Shane Bailey, uh, great guy. Um, I, I know some of his relatives. I've been I've been around some of his people. Um, cool people, very cool people, and uh, we're, they're looking to raise some money for um for uh for Shane Bailey. And uh, not a whole lot of information on the event page as of yet. But as we get closer, we'll talk more and more about it. So if you happen to be around Houston, you're looking for something to do. There's gonna be some live music. There's gonna be some food. There's gonna be all kinds of stuff. And uh, you know what? Houston's always fun to go visit. So I got a boy that lives out there. You know what I'm saying? Now. This is something I'm very, very excited about. Very, very excited. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and tag them. I'm going to tag them right now because we're going to be talking about these dudes. Uh, Skulldozer. Skulldozer. Um, this band, Skulldozer, okay? They popped up out of the blue one day. I'm like, oh, what, what, what's this? What's going on with this band? I think I actually knew about them a little bit ahead of time but because uh, I'm friends with a lot of these guys. And Skulldozer's like, you know, hey. Or they're like, you know, we got this band, Skulldozer, maybe you can help advertise, blah, 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 stuff like that. I'm like, you know what, you know what I do. That's what I do. It's played some of their music. I still play some of their music. Uh, Your Metal on Monday, uh, we've heard them on there. We've actually heard them on the morning show here with the Crescent City Gumbo, uh, uh, What's in the Pot, Daily Ingredient stuff. We, I've played uh, Skulldozer on this show as well. Uh, but you know what? They're catching on. They're getting big. They got a whole bunch of shows coming up and some very substantial shows in, in the world of heavy metal. Like uh, Friday the 13th of January. Yeah, Friday the 13th. Let's see. At the Twist of Lime, our buddies from Skulldozer will be, will be direct support for Goat Whore. And if you're a heavy metal fan, you know who Goat Whore is. Goat Whore is a huge man. They're a big deal. And uh, they're great guys, too. Skulldozer is going to be playing with them. All right? Now, the next day, on January 14th, guess what? 
Skulldoze is going to be playing for Go- playing with Goat Whore at Tracks Bar along with Killhammer, and uh, it's going to be absolutely awesome. John Jones, what's up? Bone in the house. Ah, yeah. Everybody knows how I feel about about Bone. <laughs> I like Bone. <laughs> I like Bone. Bone. Big lump with knobs. Uh, never mind. Uh, but uh, uh, Skulldoze is going to be opening for Goat Whore again with Killhammer as well. I mean, we they, they they got some big stuff going on, and this isn't it. They got a whole bunch of stuff coming down the coming down the pipe. They um they they uh they signed up on a record company, I believe, or just a promotion company. I don't know, but they're going. Jeremy LaBeouf. Hey, buddy, how's it going, man? Uh, Jeremy, thank you. Uh, Jeremy reached out and uh, was talking about um about uh, some wonderful things that uh, we did. Uh, like Christmas uh, and my birthday, of course, my birthday. He he wished me happy birthday. It's great, it's great, it's great. And then this month, Friday, December sixteenth, the Rowdy Metal Fest. All right, I'm. It's uh, brought. It's at Tracks Bar and Grill. Brought brought to you by Hispanic Satanic Productions. Uh, it's going to be a great freaking show. I can't wait to see that. Skulldozer is going to be on that bill. They up at the top of the list, and we got Faust Faustian. Uh, they're a black metal black. Blackened death metal from Baton Rouge, so that means it tastes good. How is it? Oh, great. Oh, man. It was a great birthday. I got to spend most of it with my daughter, and that was great. So Skulldozer's on top of this list. Killhammer's on there. Counterman is on there. Who else? We got a bunch of people on this list. This is uh, this is this month, December 16th, which I, I don't think I'm going to be able to make this, but I really want to go. Counterman, let's see. Uh, covers 15 bucks uh, by Prosthetic Records, uh, Season of Mist. Is that a band? Season of Mist Hispanic. Oh no, that's one of the support. One of the uh, one of the sponsors. Uh, tracks in Long Beach. Love tracks. Great place. Hispanic Satanics on top of that. And oh man, R- Rowdy Metal Fest. We're gonna get into that more. Hopefully next week I can get uh, get a little bit more um, into the metal on Monday. I've been neglecting that and I feel bad about it. But uh, there's a lot of great heavy metal coming out. A lot of big heavy metal shows that our friends are gonna be on. Uh, our friends from Gulf Coast Metal Alliance are always involved in something. And uh, Skulldozer and Killhammer are both. Uh, uh, GCMA bands, so love those guys. They're great. My brothers, my brothers in rock in metal. Yeah, gotta love that. So, got some big shows, and uh, I expect to see huge things by, from Skulldozer next year. Watch next year; they're probably gonna be on tour. They're probably gonna hit the road, and, and uh, actually, they're probably gonna hit, hit jump across the pond over there and go go do some tours in Europe and stuff. I hope that would be wonderful to see because Europe is the place to be when it comes to music. Still, as far as big festivals because people in Europe, these kids, I say high school kids, they're saving up their money to buy these weekend long passes to go to these giant festivals, these music festivals. They're still having these music festivals out there and it, they're kicking it. They're killing it. It's great. They're having so much fun. Why can't we get that going over here anymore? I mean, we still have it up north. There's more people getting out and going to the bigger festivals in the northern area. But uh, around here, it's, it's, it's like pulling teeth trying to get people out of their chairs. I don't know. Maybe it's all the, the heavy foods that we eat. Maybe we just don't want to stand up and walk around. You know what I'm saying? We get it, you know what? That's a great idea. We should start a, a heavy metal aerobics program. We should do that. We should get a heavy metal aerobics together. We can get out there and set up a, you know, some like yoga mats. And while Killhammer and Skulldozer are up there doing their thing, you can do like the, the um, you know, the, the, the bent over dog or the, the upside down cowgirl whatever they call that stuff and it, i think that would be fantastic you know we, we come up with new names like the like the the rotting spleen you know it's like you gotta, you gotta kind of twist you know we, i'm sure we can come up with something you know and then uh somebody up on stage can direct the next pose you know i don't know i don't know sounds pretty good to me but Today, we got a whole bunch of stuff going on today. It's uh, it's karaoke at uh, Battlefield with Danny. It's ladies' night as well. Go hang out in the Chalmette if you're out and about and tell them I said hello. Ron and Tina's open mic night at Poor House in Jefferson. Uh, Poor House in Jefferson is an absolute awesome place to go hang out. Been there a few times, and the owner's awesome. People that work there are great, too. Thirsty Thursday, two-for-one domestics at uh, at Jay's Tavern in Chalmette. DJ Shawnee D, my buddy, will be at Backyard in, ba- in Chalmette. Also, it's uh, ladies' night with uh, line dancing night. They're going to be going to be playing up the best line dancing music ever, if that's even a thing. Best line dancing, it's kind of... All right, what if I told you that if you wanted to see Skulldozer, Killhammer, and The Screech all in the same event... This Saturday, you can. Well, guess what? That's absolutely fantastic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't go through the bands like I normally have been, but Art did. So thank you, Art, for that. Because, uh, yeah, uh, Killhammer, Skulldozer, Discreech, Undivided Band, them guys. 
uh, and and so many other ones. <laughs> I, I I'm really looking forward. This show Saturday is going to be one for the record books. That's for sure. Some of the best local bands uh, th- around. I mean, are going to be there. And that's saying a lot because we have so many good ones. There's so many good local bands around here. It's ridiculous. All right, my buddy Jamie St. Pierre is going to be at the Dungeon Bar in the Covington Country Club at 6 p.m. tonight. So if you're on that side of the little the little uh, canal, uh, you know, Lake Pontchartrain, whatever you want to call it, yeah, go, go hang out with Jamie St. Pierre. He's fantastic. Side B is at Pedro's and Harahan, Harvey Jesus and Fire. Harvey, Harvey Jesus on fire is at El Paso and Chalmette. Lowdown is at La Casa and Homa. Creole String Beans, absolutely love that name, is at Broadside in NOLA in New Orleans. Drag Bingo Show at Androgyny and Homa. That's going to be a fun one. What's up? Our guy, what's up, Closure? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Cassie and Johnny, La Casa Thibodeau. Uh, AB Conversation at St. Anne Juan Bar in Mandeville. Carter Hampton at Bottle and Tap in Baton Rouge. Freedom Hawk with Black Laurel at Santos Bar in New Orleans. Black Laurel's awesome. I don't know Freedom Hawk at all, but uh, Black Laurel's amazing. DJ T. Roy's at Blue, Blue Nile in New Orleans at 10 p.m. Got a whole bunch of other things going on, I'm sure, but uh, you know what? I don't know what they are, and I apologize for that. I, I try to get the uh, love you too, Art. You're awesome, dude. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, y'all get to know each other in the comments. Say hello, because <laughs> uh, that's what we like to do here. We like to introduce people to uh, new people, and we really – this is the best thing about what I do. What Crescent City Gumbo's here for is doing everything we can to introduce people to new music. And new music, I mean local music, like really, really good local music. And it's been working. And that's the beauty of it. It it makes me so happy when people say, hey, I would have never heard that band if it wasn't for you. Thank you for sending me uh, the the link to this band. Hey, thanks for this because this band is amazing and that band is amazing. And thank you, thank you, thank you. So, um, of course, every genre that we play here. It might not be for everybody, but at least everybody's getting a chance. You know what I'm saying? That's what we try to do. We want to include everybody in everything that we do, and we do our best, and so far, so good. It works. Ah, Hey, what are you doing for lunch? What are y'all doing for lunch? I think I am going to eat a salami sandwich. That's going to be my thing. I think Kate and I are both going to eat salami sandwiches today because I love salami, and so does Kate. And uh, we got this new honey ham that we bought from the deli right around the corner, too. Really good stuff. We need to get down there. Our drummer is Nola Born and Bre- What are you waiting for, Closure? <laughs> get your butts down here, man. Y'all can come play live in the studio if you want. We can hook you up with some gigs, I'm sure. Um, you know you, you know the you know the drill. Y'all can come on down anytime you want. You know what I'm saying? Just give us, give us about 45 minutes of heads up, and uh, we'll make something happen one way, shape, or form, you know? Uh, we might even be able to find you some accommodations if need be. But if you got a drummer from NOLA, uh, I think uh, you probably have some uh, some connections down here. But don't uh, count us out. But, you know, Friday, tomorrow, oh, my goodness. And I'm, I'm, I'm a little disappointed I'm not going to be able to make this show. I really, really, really want to go to this show. But uh, I'll be uh, at the Bonfire Festival tearing it up, eating some gumbo, and uh, hosting, uh, emceeing a little bit. But Ventress, Transient, and Seven. <laughs> Ventress. Yeah, you heard me. Ventress, Transient, and Seven will all be playing at the Battlefield Bar in Chalmette tomorrow night. And that show is going to be incredible. I really want to be there. I know people. I know the bands. I know all three bands. We're good friends with all of them. And, oh, my goodness. Oh, that's going to be a damn good show. And if you've never been to Sha- if you've never been to Battlefield Bar in Chalmette and you want to see what they have to offer, uh, nice sound, nice lights in there, um, go check them out. That tomorrow night's will be a great show. Jamie St. Pierre will be at MRB in New MRB in New Orleans. I mean, that's always fun. He does that every Friday night. So um, I- I'm- I'd leave that up there. We got a whole bunch of stuff here. Annette Mooney at Ruin Brew, 23rd a- 23rd annual Holiday of Lights at St. Tammany Trail or Tammany Trail. Trace Trailhead at Coop Drive at 6 p.m. Fun stuff. Fun, some fun stuff for the family. Natalie May at the Abita Brew Pub. Tank and Bill at River Shack Tavern. Brian Jones, uh, 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 the old lead singer for uh, Lillian Axe. And at the Hideaway Den in Mandeville. Two Scots at River Shack. Sean Williams at Poorhouse. Bam Bam at Spotlight. Uh, Sugar Shaker at Rock and Bowl New Orleans. Bam Bam at Colby's Cocktails. DJ Shawnee D at Backyard. Uh, Joystick Flying Raccoon Suit Loser. Uh, and Diplocrats at uh, Siberia, New Orleans. Dirty Water Blues at South Down in Homa. Monkey Fist at The Hitch. I love Monkey Fish. I know how I feel about them. And Magic Crawfish. I haven't seen Magic Crawfish doing anything lately. That's a band that you want to go see. 
Super talented, super cool. My son, uh, my son, my oldest son knows these guys. Went to school with most of them, uh, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe even all of them. All these guys in this band. And my son's quite the musician himself. But he he's not. He doesn't. Oh, what's up, Lonnie Miller? Yeah, bud. So um, love you, brother, and all you do. You are a true legend. Oh, Dawn, stop it. You're making me blush. <laughs> but uh. Yeah, Magic Crop is a great band, a local kind of classic rock, kind of folky even. Uh, they, they play in Lafayette because most of them live out there. Uh, the bass player for, uh, for the band is actually manager at CNN Music in Lafayette. So there you go. Got, a, got some good stuff. And then Saturday, a whole bunch of things happening. Sunday, we got a few things. Monday, even, uh, you know, a couple stuff going on. Holiday art market in Siberia. Get out. Go check out the local art markets. Go check out the local farmer's markets, local craft shows. That's where you need to buy your gifts for everybody. Support your local family. We're not just a community. We're all a family here. We need to support each other and take care of each other because that's all we got. The government ain't taking care of us. Well, Yeah. <laughs> the government's stealing from us to take care of us. I mean, it, it's dumb. It's dumb. It, it's really dumb the way it all works. But, hey, you know what? we got to stick to each other. That's why we have to make sure that we're okay with each other in our own community, in our family, because nobody else is going to do for us what we do for us. I mean, are you kidding me? I like that. It should be on a, uh, it should be on a T-shirt. Nobody's going to do for us what we do for us. Yeah, I like that. Well, guys and girls and everybody that's watching, thank you so much for tuning in. It's time to shut it down. It's almost uh, time to go fix a sandwich for me and my daughter. So y'all be good. Take it easy. Thank you for your support. Go check out all the bands that we talk about, all the shows that we talk about, all the venues. Go like, follow, and subscribe, and whatever you need to do on social media. Make sure you share. Share this stuff. That's the best thing you can do. Best thing you can do, because the more you share it, the more attention is drawn to them, and the better the better uh, standings you'll have in the in in the in the feeds. Um, if Facebook likes you, they'll put you up here. If you mess up, they put you down here. You mess up again, they put you down here, and then people stop seeing your stuff. So the more people send me that quote and your shirt size, are you uh quote? Okay, I'm lost. We'll chat about that later, I promise. And y'all take it easy. Be good. Have a great day. Be good to each other. Thank you for tuning in to Crescent City Gumbo, What's in the Pot, for your list of daily ingredients. I am Dominique. Y'all take it easy.